I'm Ethan Zindler with Bloomberg New Energy Finance. We're a research firm that provides data and research to major investors in the clean energy sector. We track policy, technology, and investment trends in clean energy. We were founded as an independent company six years ago in London. We were acquired by Bloomberg and our division of Bloomberg now uh, as of today. I live in Washington, D.C., and we just lived through a miserably unpleasant hot summer. So I guess in the most basic sense, I suffer along with everybody else who's um, experienced some of the wild ups and downs of climate change in the past five years. We suffered through a terrible summer after what had to be one of the worst winters that we've also had. So the, the, the really massive mood swings of Mother Nature, uh, I've certainly felt. I think we all are to some degree. Uh, anybody who, uh, who consumes energy is involved in it in some, in some way, shape, or, or form. So um, I, don't think it's, uh, I don't think anybody is, is completely, uh, unless you somehow manage to live an entirely emission-free lifestyle, which I don't think almost anybody does, I think everybody has some role to play. Well, I think you could argue that everybody has some kind of role. I mean, certainly governments are the ones that are best positioned to make the largest changes. Uh, and and we, 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 you know, there have been some moves in that direction. And obviously there are the climate talks and there are uh, independent government actions. So I think they are the ones, they're the elected leaders. They're the ones who are supposed to show leadership uh, on these issues. So I think they're the ones who have the biggest uh, role and responsibility for addressing these issues. But certainly everybody can make a difference in terms of how they consume energy. Absolutely. We've certainly seen some clear examples of that over the past five or six years. Um, uh, you know, everyone from those who've, some of those who've made wind turbines to those who've made solar modules. I think Germany has certainly enjoyed some of the economic benefits of a growing uh, solar industry. So I think the answer certainly is yes. Um, but not everybody will make money all the time. This is an industry like any other, and there will be um, moments of oversupply and undersupply. There'll be ups and downs. Um, this is a business like any other business. We've tracked you know, a substantial increase of investment in clean energy from somewhere around the 40 billion range back in 2005 all the way up to um, over, at one point over $173 billion per year in 2008. Saw a bit of a decline in the amount of money invested in the sector in 2009, but this year, 2010, we anticipate $175 to $200 billion will be invested in clean energy worldwide. So clearly the industry has grown very rapidly over this last six or seven years overall.